didn't understand until recently is he's a little bit of a freakish athlete. So Harrison Smith can run, he can jump, he's got good hands, even though I tease him today about a couple drops. But I think he's a solid second round pick. And if somebody got stuck at the end of the first round and needed a good football player, I would be stunned if he went. Mike, uh, what about Jonas? What did you see from him today? I was just really happy he was out there today. You know, you're talking about four or five months removed from an ACL. Uh, I think the important thing for him was just to show the NFL teams that he's well on his way back. Obviously can't do a whole lot of change of direction, but just to see him catch the ball and move shows teams that'll pass the medical and get in the can. Trevor Robinson wasn't the guy that got invited to the combine. Mm -hmm. what, what were your impressions of him? Well, he's just a good, smart football player, and 31 reps at two and a quarter helped him a lot. Uh, he looked pretty good position stuff. He'll be in somebody's camp, and, and the important thing is not whether you get drafted or not. The important thing is getting the right camp. And in the right system, in the right camp, he's got a chance to, to make a team. And Blanton really improved his 40 times. Yeah, I think the two guys that really helped themselves as far as 40 times, as far as measurables, are, are Blanton uh, and Fleming. And they both ran in the mid four fives. And I, I've been a believer for a long time. I think Blanton is uh, a real quality safety prospect. And some people think that's a, a, a cut, and it's not. It's a compliment. I think the kid can be a starting safety in the league. I also think he can play all four special teams. So I think Blanton helped himself with his time. Darius Fleming, to me, is underrated. You know, he's one of those tweener size guys, 247 pounds. Where do you play him? He, he's more explosive than teams thought. He ran in the mid four fives. He caught the ball in the linebacker drills. Um, and he'll be a core special teams player. So I, I really thought that Blanton and Fleming helped themselves a lot. I'm sorry, I know you're really kind of interested, but Anthony Smith, what, what do you see right now? What do you mean? Oh, I, I think he's the second safety off the board. I think he goes in the first 15 picks of the second round. I think he's, he can play strong and free. I think he's got great range, better feet than people give him credit for. He's a better athlete than people think he is. And if he snuck into the end of the first round because a team just wanted a good, solid player, it wouldn't surprise me. I've been doing this for a while. Do you remember a case like Jonas Graves where a guy literally last home game of his career blows out his and he's... You know, good as new four months later like this? Well, he's not good as new, and he's got a lot of work to do, but I'm just happy for the kid. And, and every year it seems like the ACLs get tighter and tighter as far as time frames. And, and the two people this year are Jonas and Ryan Broyles from Oklahoma, the wide receiver who tore his ACL in, I think, in early November. Um, and he's got to work out on April 12th. So I'm really excited for both these kids. It's a great story. And I think the important thing for Jonas was just to show these teams that he's in shape, I've always said he's got great feet for a big back. Uh, and just to be able to show them that he can move, he can get around, he's going to pass your medical, which is important, can you pass the medical? Because you got to pass medical to get in the training camp. So that's what I thought was important today.